Yeah, just a little welcome kit and just, you know, something to get us going as we, you know, take this trip uh, coming down here for camp. So, um, and I remember what that felt like as a young, my first couple of years in the league, um, just being excited for the beginning of the season. So uh, just getting with, with my team and figuring out how we can, you know, use something to bond us together. I really want them to read the book. So, you know, you got to sprinkle some some candy in there so they'll take the medicine. But, uh, uh, you know, all the other stuff was just, you know, a welcome gift to just bring us together a little bit. In the offseason, you got a chance to start that. In the offseason, you, you got a chance to sit down with the people podcast. Yep. And you talked a lot about how influential your stepfather was, right. about just how influential your family was to your upbringing right. and how it molded you for today. How, how influential are they to you at this point in your career? Well, they made me who I am. There's no doubt about that. I think just the man I am, the man I've grown into, be a father, um, a brother, a son, a partner, you know, just um, trying to be a, a, a you know, a stand-up guy and um, be respectable. And my name carries weight, and you know, um, I got I'm in good graces with most people I come across. So uh, I think that comes from my upbringing and just being solid, just being a solid dude. You said you really want them to read the book. Can you tell us the, the name of the book and kind of why you have a connection to it and why you want them to read it? Yeah, this chop wood carry water is just really just you know the summary I would give you is just be you know falling in love with the process of becoming great. And I know that with the last couple of seasons that they've had, especially the young guys. Oh man, that's terrible. Oh, <laughs> it's it's like oh, the that's national funny. wireless thing. That's like some brainwashing shit right there. <laughs> uh, that's scary. That's scary. But yeah, I think that, okay, we're still going. I think the book, you know, more so than anything, just, you know, falling in love with becoming great in the process of that and um, the steps that it takes. It's not like a straight path to, to you know, climb out of where we've been here. Um, and you're gonna have to be in tune and locked into the days when it's tough. It's easy to be excited and, energetic on the first day of training camp, but you know, it's going to be those days in the middle of the season where things are, are hard and adversity hits and you got to just be able to push through and, and, and come together as a team. A lot of new guys here, even though most of those new guys are veterans, how much of this process is just develop chemistry, get to know each other, uh, particularly since some are different offensively than your typical center, your typical... Yeah, I know. That's, that's a big part of it. I think... Um, you know, coach has done a good job of stressing that we find that chemistry on and off the court and just learn each other, and especially on the court, learning tendencies and learning what guys like, uh, you know, to be offensively and then defensively just communicating at a high level so we got each other covered. But uh, it's, a, it's a good mix. We got just enough vets and um, a lot of young guys that we got to bring along and get up to speed. But um, so far, it's been great. As a point guard, how, how do you sort of weigh, all right, I want Alfie to work through Alfie on this, and other times, no, you're going to run what point guards run. Yeah, I think it's just all a balance of just taking what the defense gives, matchups, um, who you're playing, when you're playing them, time and score. It's all of those things. But for the most part, I mean, I usually just play within the flow of the offense. And then obviously, you know, when I get hot, then I get hot. But you play ball screens, teams that play different coverages. You play some ball screens. You take advantage of mismatches. Um, so it's going to be pretty specific game to game. Um, and that's the great part about having a team where everybody can, can be effective is it, it'll be probably a different guy, you know, on a nightly basis. So it's a club in the bag, but it's not like you use a three on every, you use it when it's appropriate. Yeah, no, for sure. You know, you gotta, you gotta, right. You gotta, you gotta hit your club when, when, the, when the shot calls for it, you know? So I think um, just coach putting in our spacing, uh, a couple of principles, a couple of quick hitters. So, you know, we know kind of what we're flowing into and then the rest, we just gotta make plays and play good basketball, share the ball. and we got enough talent to, to score the ball. Coach, speaking about the chemistry, we've seen you working a lot with Dave Green, building that chemistry, talking to him on the sideline. What's some of the things you've been talking to him about from taking that step from a young, uh, promising young player to maybe a possible all star yeah, I think he's just super hungry. I just feel that he's super hungry to, to be great and to take that next step. And so ultimately, I'm just sharing my experiences and things that I've done, things that I've seen, the other great players that I've played with, um, and just, you know, figuring out what's going to work for him and what's his process going to be. But um, I'm just here to assist him in that. And um, the biggest thing is he works really hard and he's, he's really hungry to, to win and to be great. And um, I think that that obviously is going to be a step by step process. But um, I'm excited for him this year to play, you know, more of a, a winning style of basketball. How does this training camp feel this year with this team compared to past training camps you've been a part of? Um, a lot of teaching, a lot of teaching for sure. Um, it's kind of like starting that, you know, 
ground zero and, and building up. So it's back to the basics, which is good. I think that um, this new generation of, of basketball players are, is missing some of that. So I, I'm, I'm happy that we're kind of stripping away everything and, and starting with the super fundamentals of, of how to build up a, a foundation of a team. And I think it'll pay dividends for us, you know, in the long run. Is there a lesson that you've tried to impart so far early on? A lesson? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think just that is day one and day two. You know, it's, it's a long road ahead of us, and I think you know you uh, you have to find a way to be you know excited about the work. You know, you can't skip. There's no shortcuts. You know, and so it's going to be a rep it out every day, hard work until we get to a place where you know we don't have to think about it. But um, you still got to be able to put the work in. When you look at the early part of your career. How important was it to have Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan there with you? Yeah, incredible. I mean, it, it really gave me a, a great head start. Um, two incredible guys to learn from on and off the court. Um, they were a little farther along, all-star. They had just um, come off the of Eastern Conference Finals when I got there. So um, learning, you know, habits, tricks of the trade, you know, little secrets, things that um, you can do to get ahead. And ultimately, the work, the work ethic and the professionalism is two things that I was able to take from them. Is that, an, is that important to you to kind of have that same role with these young guys? Yeah, absolutely. I remember Kyle told me, you know, my rookie year is, you know, the, the, and somebody told him and somebody told them, it's like, you got to, you got to learn it, get it, and then you got to pass it down. That's what it's about. So everything that I've learned and experienced in my, you know, seven years so far, I'm going to share with this group, and they take the good. Hopefully they throw the bad out and take the good and, and add it to what they got. Did you go through any rookie hazing your rookie year, and is there any lighthearted rookie hazing for a men in Cam coming down? Yeah, I'm line? sure we'll find some for those guys that do. I think the worst I had to do was dance or sing or carry a pink bag or something like that but uh it, it wasn't too crazy I'm, I'm not i'm not too crazy on the on the hazing but they'll definitely have some some duties for sure you guys ran probably more defenses than any team in the league the last few years i know two days in you don't have that many deep but do you see potential to be more versatile more varied uh, than is typical absolutely you just look at the group that we have you know you can go guy by guy and, and see you know where they could be effective I think obviously you'll see a lot of switching the way the NBA is, is played today. Um, just really challenging, you know, Alpi to, to, to find different ways to be effective on defense. He's not just probably going to sit in a drop like, like he's used to, so he's going to get more active. And, and with uh, having Jeff, Jeff will probably play some five, and obviously Jabari. So um, having all of those guys that are versatile at, at the big spot, um, obviously Jock is, you know, can move a little bit. So. And then we got the guards and the wings, but there's there's potential to, to do a lot of uh, nice things um, defensively, and I'm looking forward to that.